Hi friends, today we are going to talk about some changes that has happened in S4 HANA related with purchase order. So in purchase order, they have created a new rule like where you can create your output management through a business rule framework. So I'll just cover how you can do it, okay? And then you can, related with the configuration, we'll cover it in a later tutorial. So let's go to materials management, SPRO we went first. Then we went to materials management, okay? And then we go to purchasing. And here we go to purchase order. So where is purchase order? And here you can see activate or deactivate. That's for SAP S4 HANA basis based output management. So if you click on this, you can activate or deactivate based version of the output purchase. After you have saved, set of rules defines the type of so based on the based on the rules that you are defining it will say okay you want it print you want it xml or whatever you want so this is very important this is a new thing that has happened in s4 hana okay so this is this is something that you want to keep into account all the time okay so now if i just execute here you have two options okay i think i blocked it somewhere so let me go here it is so it's locked here no new output management and this and if you click on new entries you can do this also okay so this is very important now another thing that uh, uh, with this you have to do is here yeah, so there is a place where you have to do the uh, business rule framework so that's in uh, so first uh, let me close everything so that you will not get confused so here you have cross application component you click on this and here you see output control and here you can see you can click click on the managing so you want the goods movement you, what type of things are there so you can select all these type of things okay so this is there so you can say the application is active the application is inactive okay so this is something that you have to do then you define the output types okay so the output types here you have to define what is the output type it would be and all those things this is also very important after that this is the place where it has changed the business rules for output output determination this will create a business rule framework so here you will see here you can see so suppose i want to say suppose for, i'll do for purchasing purchase order okay since we are talking about purchase order and we'll say okay which one we'll see okay we'll see the printer or uh, the channel okay so i'll just select this and here you can see the channels the different channels that we have inside of print and all these things now if you want to add new things you can always edit and you can create you have to deactivate and all these things now if i let me see what are the different de determination type we have here you can do email so email recipients okay so suppose i put email recipient you don't have anything now here I'll go, I'll click edit and uh, here I can do additional actions. So if I click on it and here I can put things like let's say, check completeness, check overlaps, rearrange and all those things. So this is very important. Let me go and try to play with something else. Let me go to channel and here we'll see maintain and I'll click edit and I'll put additional actions and here we will say check so context overview syntax so here you can see all these things that is there this is the table this is the output type all these things you can see so you can build a lot of stuff here through through this process okay and now if I go here you can select the start simulation and you click on continue and you can simulate what is there so if you see those input output type uh, clicking and this is the this is like the net weaver it looks like more related with uh, it's more related with uh, uh, the fiori or the net weaver client see purchase or click on this and 
I'll select and I'll put execute and display process type. Here you can see you can see the simulations and all those things. So this is pretty useful and it's very handy. I'll cover a step by step process how to do this in the in S4 HANA, uh, but this is something that has changed in SAP ECC6 to S4 HANA. So business rule framework. Okay. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a